Hello and welcome to the live stream. My name is Pamela Stewart. I'm an author of Young Adult Science Fiction and Fantasy. And today we are going to talk about editing. Yay! I know that didn't get a big cheer probably, but it's the most exciting time of writing. See how I'm tying that? I'm trying to tie it to the most wonderful time of the year song, but I don't know if it's working. Hello, hello, hello. I see that there's some chatting going on. There's some chatting going on. Oh, hello, Miss Chloe. Hello, Miss Barb. Who else do we have? Shadow, my friend. Yay. Yeah, yeah. We got Miss Chloe and Miss Barb. Hello, hello. And congratulations on launching your new book this week. I have already snagged me a copy and i am very very excited to read it if you want to support our writers be looking into barb's book shout out to miss barb howard barbara howard on amazon i don't i think it's actually available on all of the uh different uh vendors so barb will have to answer that in the comments but yay barb it's always wonderful when one of us is being successful and hi Devin. Hey, how are you? Anna? Hi, Anna. Pam Pam. You all rocking out loud. I'm excited to get some work done today. So you finish nano and you're sitting there. You have this big mass of 50,000 words and you're not sure what to do next. There's actually three different types of people who are writers who, the way they feel about NaNoWriMo. <laughs> and we'll discuss those in more depth, but I'm gonna give you an overview right now. The people that finish and get their 50,000 words and they're so geeked and it's maybe the first or second time they've actually done it. They feel like they have a good story and they just plop that sucker right there in Amazon. And I know some people have the talents to be able to do that and to be able to have such a clean first draft that they can put it out there for public consumption. But I'm going to argue that everything is made better usually by some editing or perhaps critique and having some early beta readers. And those are things that I can talk more in depth about. But um, so if you're number one, we might go through some tips for you. And if you're number two, you didn't finish Nano. You tried. You gave it the good college try. You put in all the hours. You tried really, really hard. But you always only get 20,000. You only get 10,000. And you see all these people winning Nano and you just feel like discouraged. And you're like, why did I even bothering? Which I've been in that camp too. But I'm going to tell you my friend, that it's okay. And this has been a rough year. So anyone who did not finish, who typically finishes, I'm going to give you some love and support right now. And I'm going to say that I've learned over my many, many years of doing NaNoWriMo and Camp NaNo and succeeding and failing in almost equal measures, you're not actually failing. That even if you got 10,000 words, even if you got two new paragraphs on your book, you are moving towards your dreams. So don't be discouraged. And these sprints, even though I say this one's for editing or this one's for productivity or this one's for writing, you can still break down your goals into, into 25 minute tasks or 10 minute tasks with little breaks. And I'm gonna guarantee you, you're gonna get a lot more done and you're gonna move forward and you're actually gonna get your book done if that's your ultimate goal or your schoolwork or whatever you're working on, if you're wrapping presents or whatever. Hey, Miss Tina, how are you? I see that you might have a book out right now too. I thought, I think I saw that on Facebook. Congratulations. And if you want to you know, tell us a little bit about what that's about, we would love to support you. Um, I love that all these, you know, these writers are getting out there and publishing their stuff. So. I believe that you write romance if I was reading the blurb right. And I'm excited to get, you know, into the weeds with that one. And just, I one of my goals this year is to read more and to read more of my friends' books as well as more self-improvement books, just more, always more. Always, always with the more. 
That's Pam for you. Miss Tina, Miss Tina, yay. And congratulations to Miss Barb. We have two heavy hitters in here tonight. Two heavy hitters who are going to show us the way. I publish as well, but mine are very, very long between publication dates because I write super long and multiple POV books. And, you know, that's an excuse. I also work the full time job, so I don't have as much time to dedicate. I could get more books out faster, but I'm trying to find a level where it's comfortable for me. And that's what you two, and that's what the people who maybe got 10,000 or maybe got two paragraphs, maybe you can join me in the fact that we might not produce as much as a Tina or a Barb, or we might do the same as Shadow this time, but next time we're doing the same as me, you know, <laughs> which is not enough. So don't judge yourself too harshly and know that you can still do it. You can still finish your book. You don't have to have NaNoWriMo to give you a boost. You can have me to give you a boost. And I'm going to guarantee you I'm going to be there for you. I'm going to give you the support you need and the productivity sprints to focus, to put that goal first. Multiple, but yeah, it's a four. <laughs> Actually, this one, the new one I'm writing is five points of view. Why I do this to myself? I do not know. But it, it's the best way to tell the story. And all the characters have really grown into full characters. So, and all of their storylines have a payoff. All of their arcs intertwine. And then we have the big picture. It's a sci-fi. So then you have to build the world. And I'm on book three now. I'm working on book three in the series. So the world is actually only expanding. And I thought by now it would be more calm. But it really isn't. I'm just showing new worlds and new uh, governmental structures, and it's a lot. But it's it's actually so much fun to write, and I'm really enjoying um, getting it down, and I'm still working on it. I got 50000 in November, but I am still um, drafting, and I will be probably for another couple months because it's a big-ass book. Oh, it's a big book. Hello, hello. Oh, Miss Shadow is doing some schoolwork. And I'm hoping, yeah, one sprint, one writing. See, there you go. There you go. And that's what I'm actually going to be doing right now, too. Yeah, my new audiobook is officially out. I am going to be um, doing more advertising for that soon. But if you do own the um, e copy of it, you can get a highly discounted rate on the audiobook which is kind of amazing. I love the whisper sync so that if you're like reading it, which I do a lot of my reading and then I'm like, oh, I got to jump in the car. Then I can just turn on the audio book and it will actually know where I'm at and just start where, where I'm at, which is so cool. Oh, there you go. You got to put the happy out in the world and you got to just enjoy the ride. And that's my, that's 2020's goal is, I have two goals is to explore the big word of the year for 2021 is going to be explore and build. So I'm going to allow myself to explore what makes me happy and in what level of productivity and freedom I need. And I'm going to be building hopefully relationships with cool people like you guys and um, building my backlist and building my, you know, social media and, and getting those books out. Just I'm excited for 2021 and I'm, Wow, why did this become a goal setting? <laughs> we we got that coming, but right now we're still we're still like this is the uh, this is the hangover. <laughs> this is the hangover from Nano and all those writing sprints. And just because, like I said, Nano's over doesn't mean we're not going to get some wonderful creativity done. And I think the last kind of person who didn't do Nano at all, who is very daunted about writing a book or about finishing anything. Which, again, was me up until 2008. I would dabble. I'd do a dabble. I'd do a dabble. I'd try out a few things. I'd write some short stories. I'd start a book. I'd come up with great characters and plot everything out. And I, went, I read how-to writing books Oh, from the year 2000 to 2008. So for eight years, I was voracious. So I did everything I could to make to avoid actually writing. So 
if you're out there and you think, wow, that sounds 50,000 sounds. And I thought the same thing. 50,000 sounds like a lot. And it is. It is. Um, getting a book done sounds like a lot. Oh, I know. Cassie and Squizzums, I am not sure. I'm hoping that they pop in. I mean, we're doing a fairly long intro. I'm about ready to do my first sprint. I am very behind today. I literally sat down five minutes before the sprint, this live stream was supposed to start. And I am just, uh, I'm getting myself together. I did have a list of, of topics to talk about. So that's probably a good thing. Else you would have heard about my Christmas shopping, which you still might. <laughs> I know. And people come for the actual productivity. And this is where the magic happens, peoples. This is where the magic happens. Aw, yay! You are amazing, Miss Barb. And the audiobook, honestly, the narrator was phantasmagorical. And I'm going to have to do something about the sun. I thought that I was safe. I thought that I was safe. I thought I was safe from Oliver, too. These are things that are not true. <laughs> he is currently, if you can see, you can't, you can't see. I can't see. Okay. <laughs> we're going to start that first sprint. And we're going to do a 10 minute -er because I think that's a good warm up. And for me, last night, I was doing 15 minute sprints. And I tell you what, I knocked out more in two 15 minute sprints than I did in a, in a 25 minute -er, which is, you know, it's a little more time, but I felt like it went better and it was more poppy. So I'm going to be doing a couple of shorter sprints in here too. But for the people who like the long ones, we're going to accommodate you. And I do like the long ones. Once I get my blood flowing, I do like to just get into that. The What's it called? The flow. I'm like, Okinawa's flow. Do, 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 do. We're going to get into the flow. It's the Okinawa. And if you don't know Anya and the Okinawa flow, you need to figure it out. You need to get on YouTube and look up the song because it's fantastic. Okay. All of our productive writers are here and ready. And I'm going to provide what you've been looking for. Um, I am going to look for something fun. And if you guys have any preferences. I know some people don't like the background stuff, so I might mix it up a little bit, but I do like, I personally like the background, like little fireplace or, what's this it? Oh, I am so unprepared. I apologize, peoples. No, nope, that's not it. Game timer. We're gonna get into the flow. Do, 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 do. If I ever can get this to go. Oh, Oliver, don't touch the camera. Well, thank you for blocking the sun, son. <laughs> My furry beast is blocking the sun. Oh, I don't know if we want music. Do we want music? Okay. Yeah. Autumn River. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm feeling a little, you know, I don't know. It really isn't this season, but what do you guys feel about rustling leaves? And obviously I might have to turn this sound down. Because that's, there we go. Let's try it. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? Yes, Oliver is my friend and he is hovering directly above us. And for those of you who have been participating in sprints, Sprints is here, and he will be bestowing upon you unicorn horns of success. So be prepared to win. Yeah, Oliver is uh, doing his cat thing. I did dose him today because he was such a naughty boy last time. See, there's his booty. Got that booty. I have my Christmas candle glowing. I mean, next time I'll, I'll be more prepared on the next sprint, but we got... A fall timer, it looks like, and I'm going to go with that because that one is solid. Solid. Yeah. Let's see if I can share. Yeah. I shared. I shared we all. 
Yeah, he's hanging. He's hanging with Mr. Cooper. Or he's hanging with the Pam Fam. Hashtag hanging with the Pam Fam. <laughs> All right, y'all. I want you to think about what you want to get done in this that uh, less than two hours now. We had 15 minutes to kind of chat. And I am uh, ready to actually get something done. Because honestly, and I'm going to talk about that in the, in the next break, but I have a lot to say about my new daily schedule. So hopefully that's inspiring or helpful for you. And we're going to talk more. Um, please share what kind of writer you are in the comments. And if you're watching this later, please like and subscribe. Um, I would love to have you in the Pam Fam. You get notices that these sprints are happening. And you can get cheered on live and in person by me. Or even after the fact, make sure that you're leaving your word counts and any comments that you would like. Maybe tell me what kind of writer you are. If you're a nanoer, if you're a non-nanoer, and where you're at in your projects, I'd like to know. So please share your projects. That is going to make me feel so happy. All right, we're going to a 10 minute and I might put up something to block the sun. So bear with me, people. On your mark, word processors up, schoolwork ready, crack them fingers, get set. For the next 10 minutes, all we're gonna do is write. Focus, focus, focus. You can do it, I know you can. I see you, get to work. 10 minutes.
And that, my friends, is time. So, did you work out the kinks? Ah, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. I wanted to stop. Oh, we're going to have water some. Okay. All right, that's better. How'd you guys do? Did you, like, crack them knuckles and get the ink flowing? Did you get your word processors humming? How did you do? I know some people are working on admin stuff and that is absolutely acceptable because I, st I started working on, I am working on a giveaway this, um, this month. At the end of the month, I will be actually mid month. I will be starting it um, next sprint, next live stream. I'll probably share it with you guys. It'll be exciting. It's got a bunch of sci-fi stuff and I'm just excited. And it's going to be fun and exciting for everyone. Um, the raffle um, copter is what I use. And every time I don't use it for so long and then I get back into it and it's like, oh, it's a relearning process and it's a plug into your WordPress, your, your WordPress. And that's a whole nother, like, I'm not a programmer. The fun part about being an indie writer or any kind of writer nowadays is that you get to learn all th like, and I actually do like learning new things. It's just, ah, oh, I wish I didn't forget them. How did everyone do? I got, at least I got the site opened up. I got back into it. I started looking at some of the demos so I can remember how to set up a giveaway. Looks like Barb was working on bundling some books. So yay, unicorn horn for Miss Barb. Oh, ugh, looks like the kitties have had fun with my unicorn horn. Hmm. I'm a saucy unicorn today. <laughs> Let's see, how are you guys doing? It was the first time I took nano seriously. I always try for a clean first draft because that's what I was taught to do. It takes longer. It does, it does, but less editing after the fact. I don't like I'm I'm a, I'm halfway in the the realm because I found that the ones that I try to work on getting a too clean first draft, that they lose some of the magic that I'm too focused on making this sentence perfect. And then by the time I've worked so hard on making the scene or this sentence perfect, I don't want to get rid of it. So if later on, if I'm editing and I'm like, oh, this scene doesn't move the story forward, it really has no purpose, it doesn't make people want to turn the page, but yet I work so hard on making these sentences and these descriptions so great that it's really hard to kill your darlings at that point once you've prettied them up. It's like. For me, when I do that, it's like I'm decorating a house that's not quite done. And it, it doesn't work out in my case. I edited a couple of pages. Woo, you're still working on it. You're doing it. You're doing it. And a page of my nano book, you have so much to edit. And I, you are appropriately at the right themed <laughs> live sprint. And look what I have, sprints for you. He's giving you a little kiss. Mwah. He is so proud of you. Yeah, I am a plotter by nature. But what I tend to do, too, is also why I, I waste all this time making a too detailed a plot. And then I end up finding that this, like, line doesn't work or this plot line or this, like, side hustle that it's not a word. That's not the word. This, uh path that I'm on with the story does not work. And so that makes me like, ah, I have to redo the whole thing. Then you like to unravel and put it back together. But you know, you're way more productive than me, Miss Barb. So tip the hat, tip the corn, tip the horn to thee. Tip the horn. Yes, Prince is out and about and he is giving out horns. So be prepared. I am super duper excited for this, Miss Anna, because I know that I will get perhaps to read some dragons and I'm all about it. Sprints is excited. And there, there you have been, you've been blessed by the unicorn. <laughs> go, go with the horn. <laughs> 
How is everyone? How is everyone? Looks like everyone is killing it today. Everyone is doing it, doing it. Yeah, clean. I don't. I don't do the clean first draft. I wish I did. But when I did the clean first draft, I only got one. I got one chapter in every book, so I had to let some of that go. And here I am back, back again. Pam is back. Tell a friend, Pam is back, Pam is back. Oh, I'm feeling the mojo now, people, 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 people. I got a new mug. Off topic. <laughs> and it's so shiny. It's like iridescent. You probably can't see it because I like blocked out the light, but it is the coolest mug and it feels almost, it's not quite Christmassy, but it feels like seasonal, like the kind of cooler weather. It's just, I love I love my coffee, I love my tea, and today I still haven't found a good dupe for my mint chocolate mint tea. I tried Christmas in Paris and the name sold me and it just wasn't up to the same as the mint chocolate from Kroger's, which is so weird, but it's good, it's not great. So I'm still on the hunt for, I think I'm gonna have to make my own blend. I'm gonna have to be a blend meister. So what products, it, what other projects are we working on? Are we, we're, it looks like we're doing some wonderful editing. We are getting the things done. And what is on the agenda for drinking? Because I mean, besides pure, pure whiskey, which I have in here. I really, it's, it's, uh, it's Diet Coke. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, I needed a little boost. So I got a little caffeine. I am there. I, I don't encourage others to drink Diet Coke, but I am there. The hard part is uh, Tina Forcer. Yeah, that is, yeah. The in-between. And then I lose my mojo. And I have a cover designer who does a wonderful, wonderful job. But she is uh, has a lot of clients, let's put it that way. And she tends to become distracted. So even when I get all my stuff done, it's it's like I'm always waiting for something. And if I can't just follow up immediately, so I'm at work, so I can't follow up, then ah, it doesn't work. I have two sleeping cats. Oliver and Patinga are now like little donut rolls next to me. So they probably will not be featuring unless we make some noise. So it's possible. It's still possible that they could make another appearance. Petunia. Was, was out and about here for the last one. I um, changed my schedule a little bit and because it's not officially nano anymore, I still feel kind of guilty that I'm not writing every day. It's weird, but I have to, and I'd like to get into the story. I like the momentum of writing every day, but I found that working and writing every day and putting that much pressure and then having to do all the admin stuff and setting up these giveaways and doing the newsletter and, and working on YouTube and doing different things like that has taken, it's taking a toll on me and then it's making parts of it not sound and not as fun. So I'm going to, the goal in, for me in life is to enjoy the process. So I'm going to be working on taking, this was an, my December experiment. I'm going to do an experiment like Kate Kavanaugh. This is my December experiment is that I'm going to take weekends off of actual writing, which is usually two to three hours a day. So I'm going to use to do my everyday stuff as well as my admin stuff. And then come Monday, I'm back on it. So the goal is to get 10,000 words a week doing 2,000 a day, which is the average I do during the week. And then to take the weekends just to catch up and do the admin. So I'll let you know how it goes, but today was the first day and I got so much done this morning. I almost like I was out like doing things until right before the stream. So it was kind of good. Very active, very active. Diet Pepsi today. Uh, you're drinking Pepsi today. Oh, well, you know, sometimes we just need a little carbonation in our lives. Dr. Pe we have a Dr. Pepper, so everyone's drinking a little pop, and I may make a berry smoothie. Ooh, go, Chloe. I like it. I would like to know what you like in your smoothies. That's a good question. If you're a smoothie drinker, I'm a banana strawberry kind of gal, maybe with some greens. Ooh, 
Ooh, all right. We have some hardcore goals. So it looks like we have to do a nice little sprint here to help Barb get to her word count goals of getting the short story done. I am rooting for you to get it done and get it in the anthology. The more we have out, the better we're going to do. Scratch that. I finished the multiple choice paper and marking it. Yay, Shadow! Yay! Sprints is proud of you. Oh, the Prince of Shadow has done such a good job. Oh, I bow to your productivity. I swear it really isn't alcohol in in my in my cup. I'm so sorry. Yeah, because I need to break it up, man. I work so hard like during the week. It was like I wasn't getting any time to actually think. And I that's not fun and that's not enjoyable and that's not the way to live life. And I might, you know, I might have to tweak it and try something different, but having the weekends off to do other things and not have to write every day because it becomes a have to instead of a get to. And you don't want to live your life doing have to do's all the time. So it's like, oh, I want to do a get to do. You guys, you got some water going on. Look at you. I respect you, Shadow, and I wish I... I think I've all, I haven't got my water goal yet today. I goal everything, but yeah, I've done I've done part of my water. Well done, well done, well done. I am so proud of you all, and Sprints is also very proud of you all. I am so happy and excited these Sprints are working. If you're new to the Pam Fam, I am always this insane. So if you like this brand of weird, please like and subscribe. It helps me out. And one of my other goals, it should be a secret goal, but I'm just, I cannot share with you because I feel like you guys are all my good friends and don't tell me if you're not, because I believe that I have all of you as my Pam Pam for real. And I can tell you things. So um, I am going to start doing extra videos with some of that spare time that I'm going to immediately suck up because I can't not do things. <laughs> but I think I'm going to do at least one extra video a week. So if you if you do like this stuff, please like and subscribe. But yeah, hopefully you guys will get something out of it. I have some ideas. I might do some experiments and, and try different things. I'm really into the productivity. I like following a lot of YouTubers and it's very inspirational to me. And I hope to be more inspirational to y'all and to... Um, express myself via video, which is seems like it's a good medium for me, which is almost easier. Like the newsletter and stuff I kind of struggle with. Um, Facebook I'm good with Instagram. I'm okay with. Um, and I do actually post a lot on Instagram. So if you do follow me there, you'll see a lot more of Oliver and Petunia in my daily, my, my daily weird, <laughs> the daily weird with Pam, with the Pam fam. But, um, yeah, that's the goal. So starting in 2021, I'm going to be working on doing set down videos with maybe vloggy type videos, which I know I've already kind of mentioned, but it's on the list now. And in uh, one or two of these uh, live streams, I were going to do some, you know, I knew you knew it's coming, but I like to do goal setting. So if you want to join me for that, I would love to have you. <laughs> I love it. We can call him Prince, Prince, Princess Prince. Oh my God! Yes, I loved. I loved when Mister Rogers would get his puppets out. Oh, Daniel Lyon, hug. I want to hug him all the time because he's so sweet. Well, hello, Miss Brindel. Welcome. And you know the water is fine, so jump on in. It's warm and cozy, and we already have been given out. Sprints is here. We're giving out horns right and left. Everyone's just doing great. So warm up your hands because we're going for a long one next. I like to mix anything really. The fave at the moment is raspberry, blackberry, blueberry, and strawberry. And a little bit of apple. Wow, that sounds like a berry full mix. That looks like a berry explosion. We're going to call it berry. <laughs> Chloe has the berry explosion going on over there with her with her beautiful smoothies. Well, you're cannonballing in. All right, share what you're working on and share what you're drinking. Because I'm drinking hardcore liquor today. No. 
<laughs> I am not drinking her. I do. It seems like I am. This next, um, yeah, this next little sprint will be longer. And I'm going to go for 25 because I think that's a probably a, a commendable amount to get done. What do you guys say? 25, 25, 25, or two for 50? No. 25, anybody? Anybody? I feel like the somebody, the person in um, an auctioneer, that's the word. I feel like an auctioneer. So very, very nice. Oh, we're going to do the, oh, no, not more puns. <laughs> <laughs> the punishment begins, people. I gotta say, when I was younger and I was just maybe in middle school and stuff, I loved puns and I read um, Piers Anthony, which he's the king of puns. If you've never read Piers Anthony, he is definitely the king of puns. And then Robert Asprin, he wrote also fantasy and he's a local uh, Detroit writer, I believe. Or he lived in Ann Arbor and he wrote... And that was late, you know, mid 80s, early 90s. He wrote a lot of little um, myth books are called the Myth Adventures. And they were fantastic. Lots of dragons, lots of unicorns. So, you know, where I got my my first dose of weird. <laughs> but they were wonderful. Pun intended. Yes, please bring on the puns if you so desire. Release the puns. Oh, God, the Kraken has been un un unleashed. Yes, the myth books were fantastic. I still have them, my original ones, um, like four or five of them. I didn't, I actually had them all at one point. I think I only kept four or five, but he did a pretty long series in them. And that just actually had a nice storyline underneath it, too. And it really got me into, fan like, even more into fantasy at that point, because I had been a reader of anything at that point. And that pulled me hardcore into the him, um, Piers Anthony and Robert Asprin pulled me very uh, hard into the, the fantasy genre. <laughs> Perfect puns are <laughs> perfect. Oh, okay. You're, you're good. You're good. I love it. I love it. You guys, you're killing me. All right. Sprint number two. And be thinking about some of your best editing tips while we're doing this next sprint. I want you to share them. And you can use a pun in there and then get 10 extra points for your house <laughs> of whatever house you identify with. And what are some, I mean, one or two of your best editing tips? And we're going to share that. Uh, I'm actually still drafting, but it never hurt to learn new tips. Some of them, and I'm going to share some of my best editing tips. So. Dun da dun da dun da dun, dun. We're gonna do 25, 25. I hope you're ready. We're going and I'm singing again. Why is my face big? Be little, be little, Pam. Be little me, pe people. I I'm too proud of myself. You gotta belittle me. All right. No, I don't want that one. I want the river. Show me the river. Okay. There we go. 25 on the clock. Word processor is hot and go! Ah! Go, go, go!
uh, yeah. So the alarm went off. <laughs> and it was silent. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. I am sorry, people. I got really involved. It's like there's never just a straight line when you're trying to set up one of these things. I ended up tangled in menus and having to look up things. So I apologize. I let you go a little long. How'd you do? Yeah, share it, share it. Yeah, my alarm did go off and I had silenced it and I'm sorry. <laughs> my alarm! This is me making up for the alarm by being loud and waking up my cats. Hi! <laughs> who wants sprint? Who wants, who wants to be rewarded with the beautiful unicorn horn of success? Because I'm giving that out and I don't need an alarm to remind me about that. People, people, people. Show me your numbers. I want to see your numbers. Did you get some wonderful editing done? Did you get some massive progress in your work in progress? progress. Too, too many progresses in that sentence. Did you get some massive? See, I need to edit it. Ha ha, which is the theme of the theme of the stream. Editing is always important. Wrangling the table. Oh my God. See, I feel you because table contents and trying to do anything in, in Word, I'm going to tell you that I honestly thought I was going to have. I might, it, actually, that's what drove me to it, is to have, be a little crazy. I was a little crazy. Woohoo! We got some new world. Go, Anna. Sprint is so proud of you. Beep. Hi. He's so happy. Look, he's 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 trotting around. <laughs> Yay, Tina! Dipping the unicorn horn of success for you, my friend. Well done, well done. Oh, and humming Hamilton. Like Hamilton is uh never endingly good. And I will love it forever. And it is now one of my favorites of all time. Oh my God. Oh my God. You did so well. I'm going to try to say your name and I'm not going to mess it up. I'm totally going to mess it up, but yay. Yuki. My, uh, Mike M M Miko. Yuki Miko. Did I print? Did I say it correctly? I hope. Just let me know if I said it correctly. I apologize if it wasn't. But yay! 390, 390. You got some bonus minutes there too, guys. You got some bonus minutes there. I know. That's fantastic. You are a epic sprinter, and I salute you. And what is going on in the wide, wide world? See, I'm sharing these. And then, oh, yeah. Well, you know, that's a whole process too, isn't it? because they change the way you can move books and things and you have to learn the whole new process again, which is, hey, you know what? If it, we'll learn it and we'll do it. I got a fun story about trying new things. I hope it's fun anyway. Hamilton is, oh, it is George, George's songs, as much as he is a crude figure in history and had some issues, I'm gonna have to say that honestly, he he did so he brought some um, really wonderful Beatlesque tunes to Hamilton, and it made history fun. And I know that's what it's all about. Um, what are? Let's see. I am drafting a children's picture book. Oh, just started. Oh my gosh. No, it absolutely counts. We are doing productivity streams. I, I'm i just going to mention editing because a lot of people just finish nano and they have projects they need to edit. But you are absolutely 100% able to count your words. They are, I'd have to say, unicorn approved. Unicorn approved. Hashtag unicorn approved. Well done. Dip my coin. Do, 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 do. You, you key? Okay. I did say it correctly. 
I do try. When I worked at, a, I worked at a bank when I was much younger, much younger, many, many moons ago. But uh, I always love trying to pronounce people's names. And it's always kind of fun for me, although except for when I butcher them. You know, that's wonderful. That's a good, you're getting your, you're getting your feet wet. It's wonderful. Wait, that's 127 words you didn't have before. Sprints is super proud of you. He's going to make a, like a drive by here. Oh, no, he's not. What happened? Oh, he's not high enough. Ah, he's super happy. He's like speeding by. Unicorn, horn of success. Shadow, you rock. You rock out loud. You rock. You rock out loud. You rock. You rock, you rock, you rock out loud, you rock. We're going to do a little cabbage patch. We're going to do a little cabbage patch. We'll start a little more. We'll start a little more. You guys all were fantastic. Yay. I'm going to do crazy dances for everyone, I think, because that was kind of fun. I like to get moving. And one of the good tips that you could do in between sprints is to get move a little bit. You know, get that. Do a little uh -huh, twist. Make sure you're looking up. Uh, I hope there's... No, no hair. Okay, good. <laughs> like, look to the side. Get that neck moving because you don't want to get any of these repetitive motion things. Do some of these. Some of these. Got to stretch out those fingers. I think everyone <laughs> speaking the same language as me get it. It's Kels Kelsper. Kelsper. I'm probably saying it wrong. I'm pretty sure I am. Kelsper. Kelsper. I don't know. I keep thinking it's Kelsper, but it's probably not. I am probably not. Hey, getting the banana smoothie in. Hey, hey. Because everyone talking about Barry Surprise that Chloe started this whole punishment thing. We're having Barry smoothies right and left. It's kind of crazy. Well, even if you're not currently editing, I'm going to throw out a couple of my little editing tips that might help you. And if you have any, drop them in the comments, even if you're watching this later. Hello and welcome. And please uh, like and subscribe. It really helps me out. But some of the things and look, I um, actually because when you're editing, there's so many things to keep in mind uh, to add and to make it better. And I often forget them. So one of my writing mentors, Margie Lawson, she uh, does classes online and she does. I, I, kept, I took a couple of her in-person classes, too. So some of these are some of these tips are from Margie and some of these are from my personal experience, as well as other uh, editing books and, and some of my friends who do different things, uh, things I've learned online. But uh, they are not all mine, so just be aware. Uh, I would have to say, and some of the best ones I say is just the first thing you go through and just make sure all your senses are in there because I am bad about not adding all my senses whenever I'm doing first drafting. So if you are working on, yeah, Margie is fantastic and she is uh, game changing. She came with, with my writing. Um, she made me dig deeper and work harder. Uh, for my story and to make it so that when it wasn't just what was in my vision, it was in, it, it started making the work kind of live up to what I wanted it to be rather than, I know I have a story to tell. I just don't have the, the right context of saying it. Like I'm saying, uh, I'm using the improper sentences to convey the feelings I want to press upon you that when you're reading, you're supposed to evoke feelings. That's what reading is all about, feeling and knowledge and entertainment and surprise. And to get those emotions in somebody, especially with fiction, you um, there's lots of different techniques you can use. Um, using your senses is one of them. So making sure you have all the senses, everything from touch to taste to what they see, which is usually what only people like stay in that you know wheelhouse. Make sure that they can hear things. Uh, make sure there's weather. That's something else that we forget. Like even in space, I add weather or I add the atmosphere of what's happening. Or if it's if um, the ship is getting colder or if um, their spacesuit is not working and their oxygen level is going low or whatnot. I, I add these details to kind of give you the feeling that you're there with them in space or 
um, if you're writing a romance, just make sure that, you know, you're talking about how it feels to sit next to somebody, not just the, I sat next to him and I felt excited, you know, give us the feeling like, does she feel tingles? Does she, does she feel like his breath against her skin? There's so many ways that you can add layers to your writing. Um, what are some of the other things, you know, that we do? Um, I'd say it's so easy to add filler words, which when we're speaking and stuff, we add a lot of filler words, um, like ums, <laughs> but we don't do that when we're writing, but we do add things like uh, there and but and so and just. My, I didn't realize that I had a few of them until like, and this is the importance of beta reading. So if you're one of those people that would like to eventually publish, you're going to have to have beta readers or trusted a critique group where you share some of your stuff and they give you the feedback and say, I noticed, hopefully they're saying things like, I noticed that there was a lot of, you repeated just at the beginning of like every paragraph on page three. And it was like, people noticed that you might not because it came out of your brain, but getting that other type of feedback might trigger something so that you will find your weasel words. Yeah, critique groups are so helpful and they see things that you don't see. So it's always helpful. Oh, here's a good tip. Read, oh, and read it again and read it and highlight it. Highlighters for the win, girl. You know it. Yuki, you got it, girl. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a unicorn horn of success because that is a fantastic tip. Thank you for sharing that. And I'm bad about not rereading it because I get bored after a couple of times. And usually I end up reading it like eight different times, like for flow, for details, for grammar. And then one last time through to make sure, you know, so it's like so tired of it. But getting it read to you is another tip. And I think Barb does that a lot. Uh, she does a lot of it, letting the... Um, Narrator on your Google Docs or Word, do um, the reading back, and then you will notice words that are missing. Reading aloud is good. It's excellent. Yep. And saying that what is actually on the page rather than what I assume there is on the page, which helps. The only problem I have is that when I'm doing that, sometimes I'll just fill in the word <laughs> because my mind knows what is supposed to be there. But... Yeah, maybe maybe the future reader doesn't. So those are some of my good tips. I oh wait, well, some of the tips that I find that are helpful. I'm better picking up things in someone else's work than my own. You know what, Shadow? That is key. Yeah. Found some redundancy words in my book today. Took them out. Ha! For now, anyway, yes, because they tend to just creep on in like little, little spiders in our work, like little creepers. And we don't want that. No creepers in the work. No creepers in the work. Do not delete. I think that's a wonderful tip. I'm, I'm going to have to actually write that in my little book of everything with everything inside. I have a little book of everything with everything inside. I just, the most important ones. I list in here are different rhetorical devices, which is in the whole nother bottle of bottle of fish. I didn't know. Are there bottles of fish? I don't think there's bottles of fish. So here is one other little thing that I did. And I hope that this is helpful to you guys. It's just a crazy story. Like for the people who are looking at something and feeling discouraged because they either didn't finish or they just have a lot of work to do on it. Um, remember that sometimes we limit ourselves. So work on not limiting yourself and seeing just blanket statements about who you are or what you can do. This work will never work. This story will never be good. This editing, I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, don't limit yourself by repeating these things to yourself. You're protecting yourself from failure or what you think might be failure or from other people not accepting you. So I've had, I, I had a hard time with that in my life. So 
<laughs> even like, and I thought like, oh, this is done. I fixed this inside of myself. I don't do this anymore. But you know what? You know what? What taught me that I still do it is World of Warcraft. <laughs> Pause for effect. Yes, folks. This is trying um, to give myself a little treats and trying new things. And one of the new things I'm trying is online gaming. Yeah. And I haven't really dealt, delved into online gaming since the days of Gadiga and Miss Batman. So I have watched my children play games. I have enjoyed that. But now it's time. It's time for the original hashtag Pam Fam to get in. And I felt like it might encourage me to do something besides write all the time, every night, all, all the time, and still have a little story aspect and still be fun. So I tried World of Warcraft. It is a kettle. It is supposed to be a kettle of fish, but I had a bottle of fish. Yes, yeah, so that's a good another tip. <laughs> suddenly, yes, yes, yes. Or suddenly is my one of my crutches. Oh, that's a great one, too. Oh, Yuki, you're bringing all of the best stuff. I'm going to have to add that in, but acting out your scenes is wonderful. What I learned from World of Warcraft is that I was about to give up five or different times, even in the tutorial, because I'm just not good at this, I kept telling myself. But you know what? After I got about halfway through, I started getting better at it. And I mean... I was like a two-year-old trying to learn. Uh, I thought I could be as good as, let's say, my kids playing or somebody who has, oh, you know, been doing this all their lives for very long periods of time. But it took time to learn to type. It took time to learn to walk. It took time to learn to speak and to learn, like, to learn math. And everything has a learning curve. So if you're newer to writing or even if you've done it for a while, there's always things to learn. And to limit yourself to not being able to learn and to give yourself that gift of failure, give yourself the gift of failure, then in accepting that and just going, okay, these are the things I need to learn from it instead of saying, well, video games are not for me or online gaming must be just too hard for me. Uh, because honestly, after I kept practicing, I did it a few more times. I only spent like 20 minutes a night on it. But after a few nights, I started getting it. And whatever you're trying, whatever you're doing, just, you know, don't sell, don't sell yourself short. Have a little faith in your writing, in yourself, and whatever you want to try, you know. So that's my pep talk for the day. Always be learning. Yes. A-B-L. A-B-L. Always be learning. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right. Y'all up? for another one. Let's do a fairly long one again because I'm doing stuff that is, and I'm gonna leave the timer on so you might hear some water running or leaves rustling. So beware, 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 beware. All right, I want you guys to think about your next section of work that you need to do. If it is content, a uh, table of content building, or whatever. We're just for the next 25 minutes or so, we are going to just fully focus on that. Okay. So get your word processors hot, pull out your notebooks, however you want to do it. You can do it. If you just focus, focus is key. Focus is king. Now this might, this might hurt a bit people. We're going to do it, but we're going to do it. Do it, do it, do it. Ah, damn. Where is it? Why do you run away, you timer? I don't like it at all. Ah, here we go. Autumn River. Yes, I feel its presence. We're going to do some river dancing. Are you ready to dance with me? Oh, walk it out. And the music is good. Yes. And if I'm ever stuck on something, that's another good tip. If you're ever stuck on something or you're having trouble imagining it, add some music. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so bad. Whenever I found draft to digital, I honestly like cried tears of joy. 
because it's a free way to format. And they add, they do the table of contents for you. I knew how to do it in Word and in Scrivener. I, I've tried it in both. But draft to digital, like, they do it just like uh, another program for Apple only. And I always forget its name, but it actually does really well. It's good as well. But I do not have an Apple, so I do not do that. All right, people, 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 let's get focused. Let's get, let's get fired up. Dun, 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 dun. Got the fire going. Dun, 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 dun. Let's get fired up. I see you out there working hard. I see you working hard. And we're going to have another sprint to get your work all done. Pomodoro 3. Are you ready to write with me, Pomodoro 3? Are you ready to write with me? Good luck, everyone. Oh, that is so terrible. Now I gotta fix all of the styles. Oh, you know what? I am like, here is a hug. Hope you feel it. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Because I'm giving you a hug because that is honestly the t most terrible thing because you think you got it. You think it's all right. And then something breaks. Oh, and mine was like the headers. I kept trying to do the headers and the header was always wrong and it would add extra space. And I don't know why. And it was just some kind of line of code or something I'd done. Oh, I salute you, Barb. We're going deep and you're going to get it done this time. I have faith in you. I have confidence and you can do it. Chloe and Shadow and all of our friends and Barb and Tina and Anna and everyone. I do feel like romper, stomper, boo. Sprint is hoping, Sprint is counting on you to make this your best sprint ever. Are you ready, people? I am. On your mark, get set. Rock on with your bad self.
Ai, não sei ver.
Why isn't it beeping? It's not beeping. Okay. Stop. All right, so that wasn't me that time. I remember to turn it off. I don't know what's going on. The site's usually pretty good. But hey, guess what? The spread's over. How'd you do? Do, 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 do. Show me your numbers. I want to see your numbers. Let me see. I'm peeking over. I'm looking at your screens. <gasps> what were you doing online? Nodding. Jesus, God Almighty. Elizabeth, I'm coming to join you, honey. This, you're giving me a heart attack, girl. Girl. Du double, double horns. That's a double horn. Whoop, 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 whoop. Double horns. Double horns are being given out. People, people, everyone. Everyone must tip their cap and lift a glass. For Yuki. Yay, Yuki. Yay. The crowd went wild for your incredible productivity. This crowd went wild. I'm so proud of you. Well done. You are killing it, girl. Oh. Draft to Digital. Yes. Yay. Draft to Digital is the best. I I really wish they would actually do um, paperback stuff more so, and then I could just publish through them. I think that's something on their agenda. So excited for that. Um, but yeah, how do you recommend that draft digital? I know, right? I know everyone is like, we are literally falling over ourselves because that was incredible. That's inspirational. You, Yuki, are an inspiration, and I tip a, my cap once more to the and go, Barb. Honestly, that is tedious. Detailed work, and I understand your pain because I'm that giveaway. I had to go through prolific works, and then I had to see my links, and then I used Mailer Light, and I didn't like Mailer Light, so I had, he wanted me to do Mailchimp, and I'm. It's like every little forward motion I take two back, but you know what? I'm going to get it before the end of the night. I'm going to get it. It's going to be done. Oh yes, okay, all right. Three current ones on D D to D. Ebook and print. Okay. I didn't know they did print too. Wow. I did not know that. Okay. I know I did all my digital ones on there. So I'm going to have to check it out and get deep into it. Ah, uh, way to go, Chloe. I'm so glad you're here. So glad to see you supporting our team. And for that, you get a unicorn horn of success. Yeah, and then we get like a little chat break, and then we remember, oh, yeah, it's time to get back to work because, you know, the alarm's going and the beautiful, mu you know, the beautiful sound of running water and trees. Oh, revision and summary of the biology topic. Oh, Tuesday. Yes, good luck, Shadow Heart. May you buy the allergy completely. I want you to slay it. I want you to, I don't know if that's, you probably don't want to slay it because biology means bodies. So don't do that, actually. Just do really well in your bio exam. I'm proud of you. And I know that you're going to represent for the Pam fam. We have some epic, hard-hitting progress today. Ah, oh, it's like being on an all-star team of any kind of sports. Go sports. Go, go, go sports. You guys are amazing. Just incredible. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Because I don't necessarily like, I am I mean, I don't necessarily dislike or dislike Amazon's new way of doing it. I just miss uh, Creative Space because Creative Space, I knew how to finagle and I really understood it. But it's 11 p.m. and I am typing all day already. So, oh, okay. You got into the groove. It's 11 where you are. Well, my goodness, that is late. You are running late, but I am proud of you. And thank you for being here and joining in our epic sprint-tastic, sprint-tacular, the edit, edit version. Um, yeah, you're going to have to tell us how you edit so well, too, because you had some good, wonderful 
tips on that. And I wanted you to share that if you feel comfortable doing that and say, yeah, you love formatting. That was it. All right. You, you love the formatting. It's 10 o'clock where you are. Wow. Yeah, it's five o'clock here. So five o'clock somewhere. That's what they say. It's always five o'clock somewhere. Oh, you guys, that's so crazy. Yeah, the sun's just dipping down in Michigan right now. It is the change of the seasons. We're moving towards the equinox, so we're getting dark early. It's a, it's kind of a, um, a lot of people don't like it, but I like when it gets cozy at night and the, and the sun goes down. It, it's really good writing time for me and also focus time because I'm not distracted by the hundred of other things I could be doing. <laughs> you guys are both in the UK. Rock on. Oh, I would love to hear your lovely accents, too. Because I always think that people from the UK have the most posh and uh, sophisticated way of speaking. All right. So if, yeah, if you, Yuki has any good tips on formatting, I would love to hear them. And I'm looking through this. Um, there's nothing. Okay. Let me see what else I could share with y'all before we, we go. Oh, yeah. Pacing. Yeah. That's hard because you don't really, for me, I have a hard time des deciding how um, fast to read it is. I've had the feedback before that there's too much action and not enough moments. And I think that I want to make sure there's always something exciting happening that so, so much so that I forget to, the, the, poor, the people, the reason people read often is the moments. And that's the reason I like it too. But when you're just, you, you write a lot of plot driven narrative, then you forget sometimes you need to slow that down. So I tend to write very fast paced books, but I also need to learn to keep this, you know, maybe a slow um, interactive scene that still you're doing something important, but then that moves the plot forward, but not necessarily action. And that's one of the things I'm learning Oh, yeah, you guys, you guys are all doing so well with that. Okay, I draft with no formula at all. And then it depends in which media I wrote. Okay. All right, it depends on, yeah, I've used everything from Scrivener. And it, oh, yeah, the format. All right. I draft with no format. All right. That works. That works. Um, yeah, draft to digital has been my only saving grace because I hate um, using Scriveners even. And, like you you mess up one little. Uh, I, I actually sent out a an ARC version that had uh, words replaced because I had a universal replace in there that was hidden. And it replaced two words. And it was just like, oh, God. And. I actually had the feedback like, I don't understand this word. And it was repeated throughout the manuscript. And I don't even know how many readers I lost over that sucker. So many ARC readers are so hard to find good ones. And I messed up. But I learned. And now I, I know that Scrivener is a, is a wily beast. Is a wily beast. So how are you all feeling out there? You guys caffeinating and drinking your water and, and staying focused on your positive mindset and getting your projects ready? I hope so. I hope that something I said has been helpful. And I know there's people who watch this who don't like saying anything, but I see you. I recognize you. I love that you come and share your time with the Pam Fam. And we're all rooting for you. Make sure if you have any questions feel free. I'm really easy to talk to anytime. Just leave a comment below or follow me on Instagram and actually DM me there because I I answer all of my messages over there as well. So I love you all. I thank you all for showing up today. I am so happy that everyone's feeling okay that that responded. Not many responses. I'm, I'm thinking people are just like down in the they're down in, in, in the trenches. Down in the trenches. Oh, here we go. I put the plot point. Okay. The character's location. Oh, that's really good. I really like that. I do that in Scrivener sometimes. 
but I hate transferring. Um, when I'm working, I kind of sneak and do things in Word, and then I have to, I have like five different locations where I'm saving stuff, and it becomes a nightmare if I put use too many different Scrivener and Word and Dropbox and and then I do some dictation. So I have to kind of have a real set system, but I would love to use it more if, I, if and I shouldn't say if, when I become a full-time writer and can just dedicate my whole day to really focusing on getting more words in and getting more projects done, I'm not going to say if anymore. You guys call me out if I say if again. Okay. And I'll call you out if anyone's saying anything bad about themselves, because I think you all are awesome. I think you all are awesome. You all are incredible in a wonderful way. Okay, that does help. And it's Word. It's usually writing in landscape format. Okay, this is half. Okay, and I think it's about how many pages I want and how many signatures I need in total. Wow. That's a good hack. I've never heard that one before. That's really interesting. And it makes sense. Wow, that's some good tips. Thank you for sharing that. When I sort the text to the right page of the signature and it's sort of, so it looks nice, print it out and then bind them. Okay. All right. And I know that you're working on children's book stuff too. So um, you probably have graphics. I'm not sure. If you have to work with that, that's got to be really, really challenging as well. First book is also an ebook. My latest book is Shelly Logan, but my first book is also an ebook. Yay! Yeah, I would, I would love to look you up and, and snag that sucker. Got to snag it. I export it all from Scrivener to Word and finish up in Word. I'm, you see, you've got a, a system. I want to have a system. I give me a system. I'm going to get a system. 2021 is the year. Systems all the way. Okay, putting POV characters at the top. Oh, okay. Yeah, you and me, sister. I got five POV characters, and I actually start every chapter with their name, too. So that, and that has been helping. You guys, you guys are full of knowledge. And I think that I value all, well, I don't think, I know I value all of your knowledge. And thank you for sharing that with the Pam fam for everyone that's watching later. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the weekend. I hope you're getting festive and you're starting to feel you're all out there safe, no matter what's happening in your world. I hope that you continue to write and use creativity as a fun uh, escape and and get the editing done so you can get your your beautiful creative work into the world or get your projects done or get your exams done and I am so happy and excited to have shared this time if nothing else we have made this day a better time just by being together so yay unicorn horns for everybody yay. I'll be back next week at the same time. Same bat time, same bat channel. So I want you all to have the best week ever. And um, thanks again. It was a wonderful stream. I got way more done again than I expected to. So thank you all for supporting me. Thank you all for showing up. The Pam Fam is the real deal. And I love you all so much, so much, so much. So I will see you 3 p.m. next Saturday. Be there or be square. Adios, go have dinner. It's okay. Then get back to work. Yay, you're welcome. You're welcome.